Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we got this 2014 Ford Explorer right behind me. So the issue with this Ford Explorer, customer was complaining while he's driving 30 to 45 miles an hour, he notices that the vehicle kind of shudders, shakes, or he feels like a misfire. He replaced the spark plugs, but it's still doing the same issue. So how about in today's video, we try to figure out this problem and give this vehicle back to the customer. All right, so let's talk about this issue right here. So the customer was complaining that while they're driving between 30 to 45 miles an hour, it starts to shake, shudder, feels like a misfire. That's what he's trying to say. And I, and I told you in the beginning, he did change out the spark plugs, the front ones. He didn't change out the back ones, but he noticed that the issue was still happening. But it's kind of persistent. It happens only between those miles right there, between 30 to around 45 miles an hour. That's what he was stating. To me, this feels like it's gonna be a turret converter shutter. What is a turret converter shutter? What are we getting to? What's gonna happen? Let me explain a little bit about this turret converter shutter. So in older vehicles, we would have manual transmissions. As you can see now, we have these automatic transmissions. So on these manual transmissions, what we have, we have gears, and as well, we have what's considered a clutch. And that clutch allows us to get the actual power from the engine to the transmission out to the wheels. Now with these uh, automatic transmissions that we have right here, we don't have that actual clutch right there. We have what's considered a torque converter. And it's actually right in the name. It converts the torque from the engine to the transmission out to the wheels. So how does this torque converter work? Easiest way I can explain this. So back in the day when I was in school, they kind of told us, envision this. If we have one fan facing another fan, so one of the fans, we have it hooked into the outlet, and let's say when, that, when we turn on that fan, it actually starts moving and circulating, and it actually makes the other fan that's not connected move as well. So when we speed up this fan, the other blades as well start to spin. So that's what a turret converter essentially is. Inside the turret converter, we actually have two sides and what actually moves it is not air, it's the fluid in there. All right, now what causes the shutter? All right, so what I learned on this one right here is this normally happens when we start getting to higher gears, you know, fourth, fifth, and on. That's when that torque converter shutter happens because we are going from, we're literally getting to the point where we're going into overdrive. And overdrive, what we're doing with overdrive, we're becoming one with the, with the actual engine. At that moment, whenever we try to really hook in the overdrive, sometimes inside the torque converter, and this can happen from, you know, not changing your oils or that kind of stuff it starts to slip and then that's where we get that shuddering and we get we we get that little feels like the it's not engaging or it feels like a misfire and what is some of the repairs on this one you know i don't know if you've ever seen that little uh red bottle or that little red container there's like a luber guard i think sells it and that's for shutter fixes and what it has it has other solvents and detergents to help grab that so you got that or as well i've heard that you can just change your oil i've tried the luba guard and i've actually been successful twice but what i want to do now is actually change the oil and then put some luba guard in there and see if that does the, if that fixes the repair the thing is that i wanted to change out the filter but with this one the filter you have to remove the whole transmission you know before we start doing before we start opening up the transmission and if just doing this old change doesn't fix it up most likely he's going to do internal work to inside the transmission this is just to get you out of this situation and uh we'll see how long it could last uh now the question is can we test this out and this is what we're going to do in this channel right now we're going to hook up our scan tool you're going to see the scan data and we're going to see the slippage going on i want you to sh see right there that it happens between those gears and that's going to you know, at least let us know that this is the actual problem. If it is the turret converter shutter, it happens at that time. 
But what I want to do first, let's go into our service information and let's check this out. I want to verify exactly when overdrive actually kicks in. And like I said, it should kick in about fourth or fifth gear. And then we're after that, we're going to hook up our scan tool and we're going to give it a test drive. We're going to check it out. And then once we change out the oil, we're going to see if this fixes it up and we're going to see if we see the shutter again. All right, so let's go inside. Let's check that out first and then let's go give this a test drive. All right, so we're on Mitchell right now. And as you can see, we have our clutch application chart right here. And if we go on this end, we can see that overdrive goes from fourth, fifth, and sixth gear. And then if we go a little bit lower right here, we can see our solenoid operations charts. And if we see this right here that says TCC, that's our Turk converter clutch, and it operates on fourth, fifth, and sixth gear. As we can see, it's on, on, and on. Before that, we don't have it on at park, reverse, neutral, first, second, or third. So now we confirm that our Turk converter clutch or our overdrive is gonna be at our fourth, fifth, and sixth gear. So now let's go back to the vehicle and let's see what we find out. All right, so as we saw right there, the overdrive actually kicks in from, it starts at fourth, fifth, and sixth gear. All right, now what we wanna do, we're gonna start this vehicle. We're gonna go give it a test drive. We have our top down Phoenix Max right here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into PCM. All right, now that we have read data stream, what I wanna look right here is let's look at shift so we're gonna look for that first because we want to know what shift points are we in we're gonna be clicking on that and after that we're gonna be going into our torque let's go to our actual torque right here so that's what we want to look at and then after that i think is our torque converter clutch solenoid pressure so that's what our overdrive is right there so as you can see, uh, we move it to reverse. Oh, actually, let's turn this on first. All right, so we can re uh, put in reverse, and as you can see, we're in re reverse. And then we can actually see our turret converter slip right here. And when our turret converter clutch solenoid goes on, that's gonna be our overdrive. Right now, as you can see, there's zero PSI because remember, when we were looking at the information from service information, we don't need that for the first one two three gears it starts kicking in at fourth fifth and sixth so the first three gears we're not going to be needing any of that and what we want to see right here is how the actual turret converter slip looks like when this gets engaged so let's go give this a test drive and let's see what we find out all right so we got to be careful right here i do have this camera And we just gotta give it a little test drive. All we wanna do is verify what's going on right here. I'm gonna put my emergencies. Awesome. So right now we are at first gear. We have a nice little strip right here. And let's check this out. So we're just gonna slowly but surely start moving up. Here's second gear. Here's third gear. All right, I feel that little shutter right there. And as you can see, the turret converter pressure went up. It's in fifth gear. And I, I feel that little bump, 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 bump. And you see, every time I say bump, you feel that, you see on that turret converter slip on the bottom with the purples at, we have that little bumping. It feels like a little misfire, man. And it's probably because it's not catching on to, uh, like I said, inside the turret converter. It's not actually grabbing onto it. And then now once we get to six here, that's when it, it quiets down. So we're going to give this another shot, put my emergency brakes on. And I like going in this area because there's not a lot of vehicles here, three lanes. All right, we're in first gear right here and we're going to give it another shot. Here it goes. First, second, smooth, third, smooth. And then fourth and then you can feel that bump now check it out right there on the turret converter slip we're having that bump 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 
Yeah, it just feels like someone is, uh, we're dragging something or someone's just kind of tapping the back of the bumper. And then once it gets to sixth gear, that's where it smooths out. As you can see, the torque converter slip is gone. And the solenoid right there as well, the pressure, we are smooth. And that's the problem that she's been talking about. The customer has been stating that every time that they do this, it does the same thing. So now let's get to the shop. And what I want to do, I just want to go ahead and change out the oil. We're going to see how nasty the oil is on this. And then put some brand new oil with the appropriate amount. And then we're going to see if we can hook up that lure guard. Let's get back to the shop. Let's put this brand new oil and let's see what we get. All right, cool. So right now, as you can see, we have our Mercon LV. And then we have our lube guard instant shutter fix right here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the oil and then refill it. And just like, remember I explained to you, this has an internal filter. It's inside the transmission. So right now what we're just going to do, we're going to switch this out and then go from there. I'm not going to show the process. I'm actually going to give props to the channel for Tech Make It Loco. He shows you uh, insight on how to do this and how to check it out, how to verify if this is LV. You know, you pull out the dipstick and it was going to show you right there LV. Or you can look at your owner's manual. But he has the ins and outs on how to do this. So I'm going to put a description down below on his video. So once I finish this up, I want to show you how the oil looks and then go from there. And then after that, we're going to go take this out of the test drive and verify the fix. So let's get to this and let's try to see if this actually gets it done. Let's cross our fingers. Boop. Holy smokes, check that out. Ugh. that is dark that is nasty so let's uh see how much oil we actually took off and then we're going to replenish that with the same amount so let's do this and uh hopefully we got a fix man this is gonna be kind of cool but look at that that is some dirty dirty oil you've been bad bad oil bad oil all right so let's check this out let's verify we got a fix all right, so I've been driving there for about 10 minutes and I can tell you as soon as I left my shop, it was still shuddering. So right now we drove around 10 minutes and it has died down. So I'm gonna start screen recording this right here. And uh, I want you to check this out. So as you can see, we're clear right here. And uh, let's see what we get. <laughs> I saw a big old difference. So here it goes. We are at first gear, second gear, third gear and here it goes fourth and check out that torque converter slip right there nothing there goes the fifth and she looks clean this is kind of crazy right here man I've, I've actually like I said I was driving around for a couple about 10 minutes there goes six here all right now we're just gonna stop right here so we can do it again just so we can uh, show you all right here's first gear now let's move up second third see nice little smooth switching and here it goes fourth this is where it used to act up and check that out right there she is nice heck yeah man this is the stuff right here all right Let's get it to six gear and then we'll pull up, pull into this little parking spot right here. Cool. As you can see there, I'm going to, I'm going to put, I'm going to see if I can put like a little snapshot of how it used to look compared to how it is now. As you can see right now, the purple is really, really just a, a nice straight line. So let me park over here. And let's uh, finish up this video right here. I'm going to say that uh, <laughs> I'm going to call this a fix for, for now, man. I am going to recommend the customer for sure that I would probably do another flush and probably put the, the loop guard as well and uh, go from there. But you can see that there is a big, big change just from what it was before the oil change. And you saw how the oil looked. It was really nasty and dark. To what we have right now so if you ever have this shutter and you want to check it out remember just look at the uh, turk tur converter uh, actual slip and then from there you can uh, see what's going on 
this was a pretty awesome experience that I got to to do right here. Uh, I don't think I've, I don't know if I've seen a video or I don't know if there's a video out there on how to test this turret converter slip uh, without just listening to it or feeling it. I wanted to see it on scan data and you know, cool thing we had this top down right here and we're we're able to show you you know one that was slipping and then one afterwards that once we change out the oil you can see the difference so there you go if you do like this video please put a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out from miles mechanics feel free to comment down below if you have any other ways to test out this turk converter shutter i want to know i want to know exactly what other people have done this is my way and uh worked out pretty good man 